Good day everyone, we are from the University of St. Lasalle College of Nursing and we are the Group 3A from BSN 3A. I'm Mark Kim Gupalor and together with me are my group mates. I'm Kaila Gonzaga. I am Prince Rupi Gonzalez. I am Mikaela Guerrero. I am Danielle Hardinell. And I am Rafaela Jimenez. And we're here to present to you our research study entitled The Coping Mechanisms of Nursing Students with Virtual Learning. To establish the purpose and objectives of the study, it must first be recognized that virtual learning has become one of the main apprehensions in the Philippines. The proposed Advanced Nursing Education Act of 2020 expands the importance of experiential learning in nursing, which includes immersions in the community. However, due to the heightening cases of COVID-19 in the country, related learning experiences of nursing students are interrupted. Through the study, different self-developed coping mechanisms will be determined and how they are effective in relation to students' educational responsibilities while there is an ongoing pandemic. So for the research design, the study followed a quantitative approach which examines the relationship between the variables and analyze and interpret the relationship through statistical analysis. Under that is descriptive study, where the researchers aim to accurately describe a certain population, situation, or phenomenon. This also answers the what of the study. For the participants of the study, we have the Lasallian nursing students coming from all levels, level 1, level 2, and level 3, a total of 255 Lasallian nursing students. With the use of Rousoff sample size calculator, the result was 255, being the sample size. Stratified random sampling was used. In this case, the groupings were differentiated according to the population per year level. So we have here level 1 with 100 participants, level 2 with 94 participants, and level with 61 participants. For the research instrument, the questionnaire was composed of researcher-made questions enhanced to determine the outcomes of virtual learning in relation to the group's chosen topic. Good and Skates was the chosen validity tool, while Likert was used as the research reliability tool. Subsequently, the results were subjected to a reliability testing using Cronbox Alpha. In this case, the score was 0.7, indicating an acceptable level. For the results in discussion, Figure 1 shows the demographic profile of the participants with regard to age. Age group of 18 to 19 is composed of 101 students. Age group of 20 to 21 with 140 nursing students. 22 years and above composed of only 14 students. This implies that the majority of undergraduates aged 20 to 21 years old are studying the course of BSN. Um, in terms of sex, there were 61 male Lasallian nursing students and 194 female Lasallian nursing students coming from all of us. So this implies that the female population was predominant in the survey. In terms of year level, level 1 is composed of 100 participants, level 2, 94 participants, and level 3, 61 participants being the lowest among the three levels. According to our results, the most used coping mechanism among nursing students was accepting responsibility, followed up by planful problem solving. Meanwhile, the least used coping mechanism was shown to be escape avoidance. So for the significant difference in the coping mechanism in terms of age, the highly used coping mechanism for ages 18 to 19 and 20 to 21 is accepting responsibility, while for the ages 22 and above is planful problem solving. So the table shows that there is a significant difference in planful problem solving in terms of age, while other coping mechanisms have no significant difference. For the significant difference in the coping mechanism of nursing students in terms of year level, accepting responsibility was the highly used coping mechanism of nursing students in levels 1, 2, and 3. Both levels 2 and 3 had the lowest mean score in distancing, signifying that it is the least used coping mechanism. Meanwhile, escape avoidance was the lowest scoring coping mechanism in level 1. The table shows that the result of escape avoidance indicates a significant difference in the least used coping mechanism in terms of year level. In conclusion, the nursing students from the University of St. LaSalle were found to manage stress more effectively basing from the evidence of the findings. Accepting responsibility and planful problem solving were the most used coping mechanism, while escape avoidance was the least used. The significant difference manifested in the coping mechanism of nursing students in terms of year level shows that escape avoidance was the least used coping mechanism in level 1, while distancing was the least used in levels 2 and 3. For the recommendations, the following are the recommendations that the researchers recommend. So first is to increase the number of participants. It is because the greater is the number of the subjects, the better the results of the study will be. Next is to widen the scope of the study. 
So acquiring respondents from different schools would not only increase the sample size, but also provide a better and significant result. And lastly, is about time. So to improve the results of the research, an increased time allowance will be needed in order to acquire the much needed data for the study. And that is all for our presentation. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening and watching. Once again, we are the Group 3A from BSN 3A and our study is all about the coping mechanisms of nursing students with virtual learning.